Hey everybody, welcome back again. Alright, I'm smashing through the next one in our little side projects here to get this uh, zooming along nicely. Alright, we have the, honestly, quite exciting, I think for me this is probably the most exciting one in this micro category to date. There's some big claims with the, the Cyc Plus Ultra, so already Cyc Plus have the AS2 Pro, which is the one that has the screen and pressure settings and weighs 120 grams and is extremely good. And they have their AS2, which is basically 100 grams, doesn't have a, uh, a gauge or pressure settings. And that one has honestly been a little bit underwhelming. So a big, big performance drop versus the Pro for basically an extra 20 grams. The Ultra is going lighter again, so claiming 87 grams, but which is the lightest uh, I've seen so far in this uh I guess micro e-pump category, um, but with that very light weight also including a digital gauge and pressure setting, which is phenomenal. And then they're claiming some pretty impressive uh, inflation times, so 50 seconds to 80 psi. You know, obviously that will vary depending on your, um, you know, tire size. My test tank, uh, 70 psi on that is extremely close equivalent to 70 psi in my 28c road tire so the time comparisons versus other pumps will be quite interesting anyway the uh yeah suffice to say an 87 gram uh pump with gauge with uh good performance claims will it live up to it uh, if you've been watching the previous videos, you'll know that, yes, yeah, so far the units that are or pumps are around the 100 gram mark, they have been giving up a lot of performance, uh, both inflation speed as well as endurance versus the just slightly larger pump sizes such as you know, anything around the 120 gram to 130 gram mark. <clears throat> they are, you're getting for that little bit of extra weight and a little bit of extra size, getting so much more performance. So the ones that are around 100 grams have been just suffering to, um, you know, even in a performance to gram weight uh, comparison, been giving up a lot. So there's been just a big efficiency drop with going down to that uh, size. So it just seemed like there was a tipping point where perhaps battery size, motor performance, piston, uh, you know, diameter or bore diameter and uh, stroke length, everything's just giving up that bit too much. And you just see a really large drop versus the, the pumps that are not that much bigger and not that much heavier. So it'll be, you know, the, the best performing so far out of this basically 100 gram, I guess we'll say subcategory in the micro category has been the Fump and Nano, uh, which is a, a premium unit. So yeah, let's have a bit of a look at the Ultra from Cyc Plus and uh, have they really brought out something special? Okay, Psych Plus AS2 Ultra has arrived. So this is, should be by far, the current world's lightest electric mini inflator with a gauge. This comes with a waterproof pouch. Comes with expected accessories, so you've got a screw in hose, which is excellent, and that's going to screw directly into the integrated nozzle. Uh, you've got Preston and Schrader attachment, it doesn't look to have spare O rings, ball inflator, silicon case. All right, let's see how much this weighs. I believe the claim weight is 87. No, 90 grams. <clears throat> 89. We'll call that a match. All right, we we'll charge this up and we will see what she can do. Its biggest competitors in this weight category is going to be the Fumper Nano and its own AS2. We'll be back. Alright, the main focus for this race 
So we're sort of going to potentially break this down to a subcategory in the category of uh, micro, but really looking at the around 100 gram units. So versus the Fumper Nano, the Cyc Plus AS2 from AliExpress, the Cyc Plus AS2 definitely genuine, uh, and to a lesser degree the fairly budget Flextail Mini. All right, let's see how we go. Keep it running a bit longer so we can see how the others uh, are going to try That's to get to 70 psi. Pretty close to some notably larger, heavier, and fairly decent on temperature. 31. Well, what was overall pretty astounding there was that it was giving the Silk Electrico Micro. A uh, good run for its money and actually came out fast in the end. Even more, um, I guess, impressive was so this, uh, the freeze panes is going a bit funny. Round 1 inflation to 70 psi, the AS2 Ultra is 61 seconds versus Silka's 65 seconds. Round 3 inflation time to um, 70 psi, the tank 74 seconds for the AS2 Ultra and 88 seconds for the Electro Micro. So that gap to inflate to 70 psi has grown by the time we've done that three times around. The AS2 Ultra is the only uh, electric pump of basically 100 grams or under that has even managed to inflate the tank to 70 psi for the three rounds. Um, the next best, the Fumper Nano, got basically halfway there. The AS2s from uh, Genuine and AliExpress and the Flextile Mini nowhere close. So like miles ahead. When we have a look at the lovely graph, so the AS2 Ultra, it is, I mean, versus the pumps of similar weight, they're all grouped down here quite a ways back, so it is absolutely dominated um, versus anything in that, you know, 100 gram and under, and it's even come out ahead of the Electro Micro overall. It's not coming up overall best on this um, performance table because still against the larger more powerful units they will outstrip it in terms of its inflation time in round three um, thermal performance total endurance and you know grams of air pumped and so on so it's not matching the strongest in the 150 gram category but again versus anything this is the lightest um, yeah it's 10 percent lighter really than anything else in category and it has a gauge to go with it, which none of the others in this uh, sort of around 100 gram or under category uh, do. And yet it has smashed them. Generally for there on volume and weight. So when we look at the performance by pump weight, it is a clear uh, winner over everything. By volume, it's just uh, behind still the AS2 Pro and the Air Mac Pro. So the AS2 Pro and Air Mac are just I guess for the weight it's still a very compact form factor so they're I guess the highest density uh, of the pumps so far as the price so the cost per performance point it's a at this stage I think the pricing is going to be based 200 I'll put it at 200 Australian at the moment it cost me a little bit more than, than that but I was buying it direct from Psych Plus in uh, USA um, they're not released from any store I can find in Australia at the moment so I don't have proper um, RRP here for Australia 
Uh, so this may change, but it's still sitting uh, in a very good spot for price per performance, despite being you know, probably the second most expensive unit uh, so far. So as you can see, time to inflation to 70 PSI on the first inflation, it is miles ahead of anything else in the uh, circa 100 gram weight category. And in terms of the yeah, third inflation to um, 70 PSI, none of the others even got close. So again, for 89 grams and with a digital gauge in amongst that and pressure setting, it's like it leagues ahead. Total grams of air pump per charge. Yet again, a big gap between uh, its contemporaries around 100 grams. And I may have mentioned that's also including that it has a uh, gauge. Did I mention that? Have I mentioned that? I'm just going to keep mentioning that because to get the digital pressure gauge in with pressure settings and this performance at 89 grams, like I am beyond impressed. So efficiency, when we factor in the total amount of air pump per gram of uh, pump weight, it's still giving up a little bit to the, I guess, the most powerful one so far. But again, it's a little bit easier with cubic inches just to sort of smash out the, uh, the output. But, yep, we can see a pattern between the, where the Ultra is versus the other units uh, of that sub-micro weight. And once again, they don't have a gauge that they've had to cram in there either. Thermal management, it is giving up Again, against the uh, the bigger units, which can obviously absorb, they've got more mass, they can absorb more heat. But considering how far ahead in just outright performance this is versus the other units around 100 grams, it has come in the coolest of those. So, and it's you know it is the outright lightest, and it has a gauge, and yet for significantly more power output than those uh, other similar size units, it has come in the coolest. So there's just so, I mean, in every metric, it has just slayed everything around uh, its weight. And it has a gauge uh, and pressure settings. Well, there we have it. So <laughs> I think for me, that's a pretty darn clear winner. I mean, obviously, overall, due to points that the bigger, more powerful units score in the later rounds um, because they can just keep thumping out the pump speed and they have more total uh, output before their battery gives out. They're getting all the way through round five or you know, near the end of round five, better thermal management, all that stuff. So they, the, the top units at sort of 120 grams plus still have more total performance points. But yeah, versus anything remotely in its uh, or around its weight, to say that it has slayed the competition there, I think, is a pretty big understatement. And I'm not sure if I've mentioned this uh, previously, but it also has a digital gauge and pressure setting. Like, I was sceptical about Cyclus's performance claims, considering that it's, uh, yeah, like a 90-gram uh, unit with gauge. Uh, but they have just absolutely delivered. So I don't know what motors and batteries <laughs> they've been sitting on before they release this out, but... Oh, that, that is something. If, if I was to purchase um, a new, or need to purchase a new mini electric pump tomorrow because if something happened to mine, this would absolutely be the one that I personally would buy. I think the only people that may, I guess this may not be suitable for, is still perhaps if you are running tubeless and maybe needing to fight when you actually need your pump to do the, the repair for you. If you haven't kept your valves clear and it's got a battle that as well as trying to get a, uh, a you know the sealant to seal the puncher and you've got a long extended hard battle your larger heavier units uh, that are top performing in this category are going to still obviously give you the greatest chance of winning that battle without issues aside from that um, you know caveat I, it's hard to see with this performance that this doesn't suit a huge number of cyclists and it's just so small and light so it's unreal absolutely unreal I would say, like, so if you're in the market and if you're waiting to sort of see a bit about the uh, the Cyc Plus Ultra and if it's living up to its marketing, you know, for sure, it, it's if it's not out in your country yet or accessible to, uh, to easily purchase online from your country yet, just wait the extra week or two uh, until it you know, gets to your country's importer and goes on, on sale um, from retailers in your country. 
this pump is absolutely worth the wait and if you've got the budget for it absolutely worth the money these things should hopefully be something that everyone has for years and it's just clearly i think the latest gen tech that you can possibly cram into such a small unit uh, so yeah as you can see can't speak highly enough this one is unreal